Well, Winterfest organizers drawing a winner from hundreds of elementary school students. Seminole Hard Rock's Winterfest Boat Parade sponsoring the Fantasy Boat Student Art Contest in Fort Lauderdale. Students from public and private schools taking part, drawing dream boats they'd like to see in this year's parade. Margaret Plisk won first place along with a $500 prize, or Plisky, I hope it's either one of those, very proud of her good work. Also earned 250 bucks in art supplies for her teacher. Congrats, a lot of good looking artwork up there. It's a lot of art supplies too for the teacher. Yeah. Excellent. It's that time of year again. Time for the Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. Woo! Fans and supporters headed to the Harbor Beach Marriott for the kickoff to the Winterfest Boat Parade. White Party, even Channel 7's Vice President, General Manager, and professional hair model, Bob Leiter, <laughs> put on his dress whites for the event. Welcome everybody to the best party in town, Winterfest White Party. Just want to welcome all of you. Deco's executive producer, Jeff Ball. he's the ball guy there. Bobby. Oh, wow, what's going on there? And his best uh, IE, Kevin Kramer, picked up the Going Overboard Award for all their hard work when it comes to everything Winterfest. Boat Parade is Saturday, December 11th. I can't wait. That's right. I can't believe it's already November. I'm going to go jump off the building right now. <laughs> Golden Knights, good night. Video into the Plex. It is the newest taxi through South Florida streets. An airplane being pulled for a big project. The jet will become part of this year's Winterfest Boat Parade. Seven's Renee Marsh is live in Dania Beach to show us how this plane will play a part in the festivities, Renee. Well, Diana, the people behind this, they say that you will have never, you've never seen anything like this in a Winterfest parade yet. This doesn't look like much right now, but when all is said and done, they say this will be a float in this year's parade. To the best of our knowledge, this has never been done before or anything like it has never been done before. No wings and traveling by ground along Federal Highway? Yep, this was the scene around midnight. A Ford 250 slowly tugging this 1979 twin-engine Sabre 60 jet, complete with a police escort for its roughly 12-mile journey from Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport to its dock in Dania Beach. This jet's final destination, this year's Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. This was kind of a project that we felt like all of our employees could have some fun with and have a great time and be able to celebrate the holidays season and do something special for the community. The Sky Limo Air Charter Jet was first disassembled, the wings and rudder taken off to clear power lines for the trip. Limo Corporation is hoping their jet will be a showstopper in this year's Winterfest Parade. The 48-foot-long jet will be mounted on the front of a barge for its December 11th debut. All right, well, looking live at this plane here, as you can see, it does need a little work. That is the next step they plan on giving this baby a paint job. It's a bit scuffed up, and the wings have been removed. Those will be put back on, and then eventually... Again, this will be placed on a barge, and they're looking at what looks like the barge right there. And then this will be the mother of all floats, according to the folks behind this, in this year's Winterfest Parade. We're live in Dania Beach this morning. Renee Marsh, today in Florida. Crews putting the wings back on a plane, preparing it to take flight during an annual winter parade. The tail and wings reattached to the twin-engine jet today in Dania Beach. It'll be decorated to appear in the Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade, which, as you know, goes on the intercoastal waterway the 11th of December. The plane's wings were removed while it was towed from a hangar in Fort Lauderdale, the 12-mile trip early Monday. Now, if you there can't make it to Winterfest, and gosh knows you want to, there's all the seating in the stands to enjoy a it's front a row seat. But if you can't, no worries. Tune in Saturday, December 18th at 8 p.m. or Christmas Day or New Year's Day. We'll be there. At 4 o'clock right here. We'll be there. light the Rockefeller tree and the Big Apple, in the Big Apple rather, and we light our palm trees. But over in L.A., they light their Lego Christmas tree. Last night, actress wow. Brooke Burke, her fiancé, and her kids and cousins and everybody else helped to light the world's biggest Lego Christmas tree. The Lego tree is 30 feet tall and has over 245,000 Lego bricks in it. But more important, 
Brooke Burke is the Grand Marshal of this year's Winterfest Boat Parade. Don't tell her, but her boat is also made out of Legos. Oh, that could be a problem. I hope it floats. <laughs> that goes rolling, rolling, rolling. You can win a fabulous vacation to the hottest spot in the Dominican Republic. A four-night, five-day stay at the Hard Rock Hotel in Casino Punta Cana. Air travel courtesy of Spirit Airlines. The Deco Dream Getaway Contest runs through December 3rd. Winners will be announced December 7th on Deco Drive. Pick up forms at Publix or go to winterfestparade.com. Good luck. Fast forward to the next step in the project to turn a plane into a Winterfest float. That plane scheduled to be lifted onto a barge later today. On Tuesday, 7 News watched as the wings were reattached. Early last Monday morning, it was placed on a trailer and driven from Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport to a marina in Dania Beach. It is all for Saturday's big Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest boat parade. Shireen showed off her dance moves over this weekend. Wow, she not only sings, but she dances. She was busting a move at the Winterfest Black Tie Gala at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. The theme, Dancing Through the Decades. Seven's Steve Shapiro, handsome man, radio host Paul Castronovo hosted the event. Seven's Julie Jurda also cut a rug. Wow, there was a silent auction and some sort of vodka luge thing. The event was the perfect kickoff to the greatest show on H2O, the Winterfest Boat Parade. You know, we have to always challenge ourselves to be better, and we want to do cutting-edge things. It's all about throwing the best party in town. Woo! Who's that hottie? It's birthday boy. Oh, my Happy goodness. Happy birthday, Bob. Bob, nobody loves you like me. The Boat Parade takes place next Saturday in Port Lauderdale. Check out winterfestparade.com for details. Hey, did you ever catch a candidate at your Hello Kitty tattoo? <laughs> It's time to deck the hulls and the houses. Families flipping the switch ahead of uh, South Florida's biggest boat parade. Vessels, of course, won't set sail till Saturday. But a sure thing happening tonight. The night team's Louis Geary is in on the fun. He's live in Fort Lauderdale. Hey, Louis. I gotta love this weather. You know, it puts you in the mood for the uh, the Winterfest boat parade coming up in a couple of days now. You know, everybody really feeling it. And tonight we got a sneak preview of the beautiful display of lights along the 12-mile parade route. Check it out. The Winterfest spirit already shining bright along the Intracoastal in Fort Lauderdale, gearing up for the biggest and most watched boat parade in the world. What boat parade? Really? The Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade, lady. The big show's still a couple of days away, but on this night, folks boarding the Floridian Princess for a cruise along the 12-mile parade route for a look at the dazzling display of lights and holiday cheer along the shoreline. It's gorgeous. This is the most beautiful thing you could see. Let me tell you something. Being born and raised here in South Florida, this is one of the prettiest sights I've seen. Tonight is such a showcase for uh, Fort Lauderdale and really, you know, telling people that we're such a great place to live, work, and play. Come and see our shores, and you know, these decorations will be out throughout the month of December. So there's lots of opportunities. This year marks the 39th anniversary for the boat parade, and it also marks a special day for Fort Lauderdale. Happy birthday! Winterfest celebrating Fort Lauderdale's centennial with its theme, Dancing Through the Decades. Uh, this year we are the official kickoff for the city of Fort Lauderdale centennial, and we are just so excited because we've got more boats than we ever have. We have got an amazing centennial showboat, but tonight is all about the decorations. A jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Don't miss the fun. Winterfest taking place Saturday night at about 5.30. It starts right here on the mouth of the New River. goes all the way up the Intracoastal for a complete, complete uh, parade route map, uh, along with all the street closures and, and bridge openings. Check out WSVN.com. That is Winterfest Central, baby, for now live in Fort Lauderdale. Louis Aguirre, 7 News, 19. It's Awesome. Cold. If you can't make it to the boat parade Saturday, we've got you covered. Check it out right here on Channel 7 next Saturday, December 18th at 8 o'clock, or you can check it out on Christmas or New Year's Day at 4 o'clock. Lots of chances. <laughs> Plans to build a one-of-a-kind float at an annual holiday parade on the water really taking off. 
talking about this weekend. Yes, it's this weekend. I can't believe Winterfest it. Winterfest Boat Parade. Wow. Renee Marsh shows us one boating enthusiast is gearing up for a rockin' time in the water. Deborah Knight is in the Winterfest spirit, decorating her Elvis-themed boat for the big parade in Fort Lauderdale. I need a temporary clip. Hundreds of lights and decor transforming her boat into an Elvis-style pink Cadillac on water. Knight is a regular in the parade. Each year, her theme is Elvis. This year, the focus is Elvis songs from the 50s. I like being Elvis. Can I say? Ladies in poodle skirts will rock out on the bow of the boat, and Knight, well, Elvis. she'll be Elvis. Check out the costume. Out of my way, everybody. Elvis is in the building. We have an Elvis theme this year. We do um, Elvis theme every year. This year we're doing um, 50s Elvis. So our main song is going to be Johnny Be Good. And some of the girls will be wearing poodle skirts, 50s. I'll be ready to rock Saturday night. I'll be up there dancing. I hope I don't fall off. Knight will take her Elvis moves to the top of the boat this year. The decorating project, she says, took about two months. December 5th, that is the day of the Winterfest Parade, and you can see this pink Cadillac on water cruise by on Saturday. Reporting in Lighthouse Point, Renee Marsh, 7 News. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> well, if you can't make it to the boat parade Saturday, we've got you covered. You can check it out right here next Saturday, December 18th at 8 o'clock. You can also catch it on Christmas or New Year's Day at 4 o'clock. <laughs> TV star Brooke Burke is getting ready for the holidays. She's shopping for her family and prepping for a very special boat parade. Brooke talked to Deco about some hot gift ideas for the holidays. She's a big fan of using Bing.com to mm -hmm. shop. But aside from shopping, Brooke has another very important thing to do this month. She's the Grand Marshal of this weekend's Winterfest Boat Parade, a position that requires a big smile and a lot of waving. We asked Brooke to give us a preview of her Winterfest wave. Show it, Brooke. Well, give me some advice. Is that, uh, is that the pageant wave? Well, I've never been before, and I've heard so much about it. I heard it's the most spectacular boat parade in the world. This is the first time that I'm attending. I'm coming down with my kids. I I'm really looking forward to it. Brooke, you've got to wave big like this, otherwise they won't see you. You can't do that little like, a royal wave like that. Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade happens Saturday night. We hope to see you there. Show her the Winterfest wave. Like Vivian said, we're just a day away from one of the biggest shows on water, boats ready to set sail for the Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. It's the world's largest boat parade. It sure is, and it's not just about the holidays. This year, Winterfest is celebrating Fort Lauderdale's centennial. Seven's Julie Durda is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on tomorrow's big event. Julie. That's right, Richard. It's so exciting. It's that time of year. It's the holidays. The weather couldn't be better. I mean, it could be a little bit warmer. I got to tell you, it is a bit chilly out here. But we're not expecting rain for the weekend for the biggest party on the water. Yes, the Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. And that's how we do it here in South Florida, kick off the holidays. I'm going to bring in Hiko Dobrakow. He's actually a part of the Riverside Hotel. Now, as you all know, the Riverside Hotel is the main host for the Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. And this is your first year joining us, right? That is correct, Julie. Well, Absolutely. welcome. Thank you very much. So tell us a little bit about what we can expect if we stay here. Well, we are so excited to be again the, the viewing host for the Winterfest Parade. And we have a huge party just being planned right here on the river patio. It's $95 a person, open bar for two and a half hours, and the best hors d'oeuvres that our executive chef, Toby Joseph, can, can handle. Also for the families on the east parking lot, we have put up the grandstands of the riverside so the families can join us twenty dollars a person coming in we're going to be selling drinks and snacks last but not least when the boat parade is over we're going to take the theme of dancing to the decades out on the las olas lawn and we're going to have a big open air discotheque out there wow. with dancing and with great bars that's great now how can people get more information on going to the riverside hotel and getting a part of the packages or having at least the opportunity to get a ticket that's a great question easiest way is just give us a call or just go on to www.riversidehotel.com and just contact 
contact us. We'll take care of you. Well, welcome. This will be a wonderful year. Thank you, it Julie. It sounds like it's going to be a blast. So yes. At least you know how to get a hold of the tickets and the grandstand seating and obviously the view. Couldn't be better, right? This is the best view. You know, we have the judges area here as well. This is where the river gets really, really close and you have the best view of the boats. Great. Well, thank you so much. Very nice to meet thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Julie. Thank you. We're going to have some...